So here I am just signing in to the machine and it's asking me health questions like are you feeling well today? Have you been to a country that has Ebola? Are you pregnant? Are you taking new medications? And so they just want to verify that you're healthy before you donate and there's about 23 questions um, during the survey and it's pretty fast. You just sign in and sign out with your fingerprint. After you complete the survey, you just sit down in the lobby and the receptionist will call you back to one of the rooms and you'll get your vitals taken. Here I just got my finger pricked with the little lancet and they put it through a machine to test your protein and your iron levels. And they will also take your temperature. <laughs> They also take your blood pressure, so here's me getting my cuff around my arm. So after you get your vitals taken, if you pass, you'll go back to the lobby and sit until they call you out to the floor. They'll put you in a seat according to if you're getting your blood drawn out of your left or right arm. And here they are setting me up. They use new equipment for every person. So they have these sterile plastic tubes and containers that everyone will get a new set of to make sure the process is very sanitary and that disease and infection aren't transmitted. And they screen the people, the health of the people, so no one that's donating will have HIV, but even if they did, you wouldn't have to worry about it because everything is very sanitary. The orange stuff on my right arm is iodine. It is the disinfectant to clean the area before the needle is injected into my arm. Would you like anything to squeeze today? Um, the ball when, whenever you're done. They ask you to squeeze your arm, hold it in a tight fist so that it holds still and I think so that the blood is flowing so they get a nice stick into your vein. And this process actually doesn't hurt too much. I'm able to just think about happy thoughts so it doesn't feel the pain as much. <laughs> And I'm not really sure why, but this particular time was not a good stick. So here the phlebotomist is just adjusting the needle to try to get it into a better position into my vein. I do have very small veins and they also roll, so it is kind of difficult to be honest. So good. <laughs> A second phlebotomist came in and looked at my arm and felt around the vein and unfortunately it was just not a good location of the stick after moving it around so they determined to take me out, give me some ice on my, on my right arm and they set me up using my left arm. And this is the machine that collects the blood. As you can see, that tall tube on the top right-hand side is the centrifuge. I believe that is the thing that spins to separate the plasma from the red blood cells. And then that container in the middle is the reservoir where your red blood cells go to fill up. That tube will fill up and then it will return your red blood cells to you. So you can see it was just full and then now the blood is being pumped back into my arm and this process has continued a few times until your plasma bottle at the very bottom you can see at the bottom right is filled all the way to your des designated amount 
the plasma is that yellow liquid right there and usually it's clear here's my blood being filled into the container i felt like this was a really interesting and fun shot kind of disgusting looking but it has to be filled up and filled down so that you can get your red blood cells returned to you And after you finish getting all of your red blood cells returned to you and giving all the plasma, you get a saline solution injected into your arm and this is just to get your electrolytes up and get you back to your regular hydrated level. The one where I actually donated on my left, and I just donated on Thursday so I really didn't want to do it twice in a row. It took me about, let's see, got here at 8, it's 9.36 so like an hour and a half. Today and yesterday was an hour, so for two hours, 2.5 hours work for 140, 140 divided by 2.5 is 56. So 56 per hour, that's pretty, pretty good. So I recommend doing it. And if you end up going, use my name, Naomi Post, as your reference so we can both get $50. So, yay. So this is the payment schedule. The top is for brand new donors and the bottom one is for established donors and I'm on the schedule on the bottom. Okay, hey guys, I just got out of the plasma place and now I'm going home. Hey, okay, so it's been like an hour. It's uh, 10.53 and I left at 9.30, so like an hour and a half. So it's been enough time to take out the band-aids. And as soon as I got home, I just made some eggs to get some good nutrition right after you donate because you don't want to feel faint. One time I didn't eat before or after <laughs> I donated and then I ran up a hill and then I almost fainted, like no joke. So don't, don't do that. Do not do that because I have never felt more dizzy in my life when I tried to do that. So they wrap it with this um, latex little band and they tap the gauze right there and then ee. And then there's this little graphic, but there it is. Looks good, right? Oh, it's still bleeding, so maybe put the gauze back on. It just was really freaking tight. Like, my arm really couldn't breathe. Like, she needs some life in her. So I'm just gonna rewrap myself, I guess. And here's my arm a few hours later. As you can see, the iodine is the orange stuff. It looks a little bit graphic, but everything is closed up and it's fine to take off the bandage. So the way the center pays you is through an app called PaySign. And so you'll get a prepaid debit card that can be reloaded over and over again using your payments. So as you can see, I got my $40 donation on Thursday and then my 100 on Saturday. And so this is the total amount of money that I've made while donating. And I actually did do some withdrawals previously, so it's been more than the listed amount. So I just would say keep going and keep donating. You're saving lives and also getting quite a bit of good money from it too. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Ew. I never say that on my channel. My, pet, my channel's literally a pet channel. But, you know, we're trying to expand our horizons. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.